Yo, this is Relentless. Before I let you guys get to the video, I want you guys to scroll down, hit that like button, go also to that subscribe button, hit subscribe, hit that bell, make sure it says all notifications. If you guys got any ideas, comments, suggestions, or anything like that, please leave that down in the, the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you have any ideas of what games I would like you would like me to upload or play, I also do stream this on my Twitch. Please go check my Twitch. It's going to be at www.twitch.com forward slash relentless G. Please go there and hit follow. It's going to be mean a lot if you guys go do that. And it will help my channel out so much. I'm trying to get affiliated, but thank you guys. Supposedly. There's, um, this ability. And then this next one I can share with this one. Did I did it send you those or not? Mm mm. Weird. Through Whisper? Yeah. Odd. Yeah, it's it's trying to send it to your name without the dash. Again. Interesting. When you do slash tell and you do my name, do you try to find it where it's green? As if mm -hmm. it was in the guild? Slash yeah, tell, you mean? Or yeah. whisper? You could do slash tell. Yeah, so, here. Ah, okay, you see this one. So, uh, it's this ability, and then the second one I'll link as well. So the first one is, so you, you basically drop a bunch of spores on, on one target, spread them to the rest of the targets, and then you cleave down and pop all the targets, because you can actually hit up to seven targets with um, within your death and decay. So you're bursting seven of them at once. Dang. Yeah, it's really big. You said I had AOE. I could borrow or have one of those runes? Oh yeah, yeah, good, good reminder here. Trade, yeah. trade, trade. Uh, here's one for you. Oh, thank you. Mine is mine still going? I need actually wait a second. I need okay to split that stack because mine is down to twelve minutes. There we go. I'll make more when I go back to town. Ready. Alternatively, I can give you one for crit, unless you've already used it. I already used it. Okay. Let me know when you need a uh, bomb, then. Just pull a bunch of ads in. Yeah, I'll do that here up. I'll let you know when I can do a big, big group. I do garbage damage. It's okay. Oh, I did better. Okay. Interrupt. I'm figuring it out. Oh, 
Oh, I had the wrong build. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, bomb them's ready. If you need, army is ready too. Interrupt. Gonna use that. I don't have any of my other interruptions done. So as long as no one dies, that's one. it's gonna be a really good pull. Never mind. Oh, I was about to res him too. Alright, so while we're waiting on the... <laughs> I was top damage in that pull. Ha ha ha. In this boss fight, he's going to summon some adds. When he goes into his immune phase, the adds have to be killed on top of the boss. So you get him pulled out of his immune phase when he's channeling. Uh, he believes so he you does... want me to pull the boss, or, or pull the adds onto the boss? I don't know if they can be yanked. They're going to be the orbs. Um... But if they can, yeah, do that. Uh, the boss will also do some kind of targeting ground AoE. So he'll mm -hmm. target a, someone or he randomly targets the area or I think he targets under your feet. Something like that. Uh, you just don't stand in it. Uh, okay, so avoid the bad. Oh, wait a second, let me read this guy real quick. Yep. Watch Iridius. Can I, he actually uh, okay. Uh, inflicts a bunch of people with a debuff. Mm hmm. Leaves uh, an AoE on the ground, random AoE, he siphons power, do damage to interrupt nullification aura, upon being destroyed, device fires off nullification pulse, deals damage and silences all players, removes one application of Apple Shield if it strikes up, got it, alright, an application of a dispelled when struck, yeah, power over at least 100, okay, got it. Five, four, three. Two, one. Defensive. 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 I can dodge it, but sometimes it is. You have to be like moving as soon as it happens. Run out. Defensive. That would have been bad. <laughs> the whole floor lit up right there. 
I actually thought maybe I could avoid it with anti-magic shell, because it sometimes negates abilities. It, it did not. That was my test. It's too far away. So these frogs up here, uh, they are... I can generate threat on them, but they ignore uh, who they're targeting. They just go whoever they want. Almost like the eyeball. Like, has the eyes fixated on someone, regardless of their... Who the threat is to. The, the frogs, you said, right? Yep. Shockwave. the frogs toxin. ate you. They put apply toxin on you. Ah, instantly killed upon reaching 10. I see. Hmm. Uh, he could have rezzed you. Hmm, sorry. It's okay. I saw that he also died, so I didn't know if he was going to stay awake. The, uh, the monk survived it. They threw the little uh, barrier thingy on the ground was pushing the frog back. Hmm. And those same frogs will spawn during the boss fight. Oh shit. So I gotta watch my stacks. Mm -hmm. um, is it a magic stack? If, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a disease or not. Because I could purge them if it gets close to 10. Need to check. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. Um, okay. Maybe it's listed in the dungeon journal for the next boss. Maybe. Is it, uh, a deadly toxin inflicting seven nature seven hundred nature damage over two seconds for thirty seconds, instantly kills upon reaching to the sex. It doesn't say what, but what Sifa says it can be removed. Uh, each time the frog successfully melee attacks the target, applies the lethal stack. It is stackable. Um. And then when the boss does the toxic... Dispel type poison, so I can't purge it. It's a poison? Oh, is it a... It is a poison. So I can, I can self-cure it, too. With what? Bitter immunity. Alright. Nifty. I'll have to sacrifice some haste, though. Anyway, yeah, it's a poison. So. Um. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, I was hoping I could get that thunder pop off before I got shockwave. Sorry. Shockwave. Shockwave. 
How many shockwaves is gonna do? Sometimes you can dodge it, apparently. Yeah. Sometimes I wish if it got stunned so many times, it counts as an interrupt. This, the elf, the uh, night elf, he will randomly ju jump to people and start casting a uh, whirlwind. He also pump someone's ads. Did you get out of that? I couldn't, that was brooded. What rooted me? I don't know if he rooted you or not. Was definitely rooted. Did 193,000 fire damage to me, and I absorbed 102,000 of it with my shield. 27k overkill. Trying to pick up all of it, but they're not allowing my uh, threat generation. Uh, another boss? Yeah, he yes. summons frogs, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. he will do like an earthquake type thing. Brown circles will show up on the ground, those, fo those frogs will fall on the ground. He does a, a leap to people, and he does like a um, ability that will activate the uh, toxin if it has uh, a stack on you, and it will do instant damage. Okay, let me read real quick. Falling rocks do damage. Since curious swags. Cult. Attempts to gulp down players and creatures. On well, inside, the target also gains three stacks. If he does not find a player to gulp, he will become hangry. Okay. As well, true. Okay. Yep. But all realistic, realistically, they could have made this an optional boss. Each time you carry a swaglet successfully, yeah. Okay, so I gotta dodge the swaglets and you gotta kill them. Mm -hmm. Ready. Five, four, three, two, one. AOE incoming. Watch your step. Run. AOE incoming. Watch your step.
run. Did okay damage there. It's actually a pretty cool ability for DPS and mythic parties. <laughs> Ready. Uh huh. But. <laughs> You going big? Yep, we're in. Watch your step. Breath incoming. Want those dragons away from everyone. Watch your step. Breath incoming. your step. That rumble earth will stun you. Hmm. Which is the earth shakers. Watch your step. Watch your step. Watch your step. <laughs> Breath incoming. I've been tanking this all in uh, battle stance. Only one scenario I would be deep in snats. Breath and that was that one big pull we did. Watch your step. I got stunned. Breath incoming. Well, that worked pretty well for damage. So on this boss fight, um, when it does the hailstorm, you stand behind the rocks, but you don't want to necessarily be right on top of it, because when it shatters, it does uh, area effect damage to you, but you also watch out for its other ability where it just swirls on the ground. It'll do a small circle filled in around the boss, and it does a ring. Center's note not filled, and it does the ring slowly gets further and further out. Um, you can do damage through the... Um, Rock ball crystal thingies right here. Okay. Um, I think it does a, a tornado, and I'll sidestep out of it, and it will. S she does something to slow you. Well, it does to the tank at least. Okay. Okay. An avalanche. Shit. So we definitely don't want to break existing boulders. Got it. But they do rejuvenate. Mm 
re regrow or whatever you want to call them, respawn. Okay. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me show you the power of the enemy. Find shelter. That's a broken one. Watch your step. Oh shit, is it? Yep. Oh, it didn't look broken to me. Okay. I was- oh, I was inside the ring. Oh, I see. Find shelter. This is different. Can you move her out of that water or does it make no difference? It makes no difference. But visually, it might make Watch a difference. Watch your step. Okay, so it does inside pulse, and we have to get inside it. Okay, I see. I see. Don't you wish you had a battle grass right now? Find shelter. They're all broken. Watch that one's step. broken too. <laughs> Run out. Find shelter. Watch your step. Run out. Find shelter. Watch your step. Run out. Find shelter. Watch your step. Run out. Frost Find shock. shelter. Twice full. Oh, it's called frost shock. Watch your step. And then glacial surge. Run out. Find shelter. Nicely done, but you have no rats. <laughs> oh, but he had Ankh. Oh, I like how you said that. <laughs> and you have no better rats. <laughs> or no res, sorry. That is the uh, fourth time I've done that. Solo the end of that boss. <laughs> that This boss and the mini boss is the reason why this one is as hard as it is. Yeah? Yes. The one in Academy, the tree boss is the hardest one. I heard about that, but also the trash right before the tree boss... 
uh, in particular those darting insect creatures. Um, the insect creatures are easy if you, you pull them by themselves. If you pull them with the rest of them, don't stand in the seeds. The seeds will stun you, and you can't do anything. Because the the plant, the big plant thingies will throw the um, seeds on the ground, and there'll be a green swirl. If you stand them, they'll stun you. Hmm. And it throws it at everyone's location. If I know, if I remember right. I was doing okay damage until I died. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone goes, yeah, for you. <laughs> See, that's the reason why I need more haste and drop my crit. You need a power res. Oh. Yeah, because if I can battle res you, then you can battle res someone else. Then the Or yeah, or the healer or or the shaman. Yeah. Because the exactly. shaman can reincarnate. Mm-hmm. Because if I BR'd you, the DK has BR, and then you could BR the healer, and then the shaman could reincarnate it. Yeah, so I, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know if it shares a uh, cooldown with battle res or with potions, because most of the tinkers share it with a potion on a 10-minute cooldown as opposed to 5. But I'm wondering if the battle res is different or not. By the way, I don't know if you remember this, but I have the ability to walk on water, so... DKs. I did forget Don't about it. a whole party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a DK ability. Or passive frost. I forgot about mm. that. It's now available to everyone, not just frost in the past. So it used to be every, all the DKs had it. And in in the it. older versions, yeah, and then they made it for a brief period frost only and they returned it. You know? Wow. I didn't know it was strictly for frost. For a, a while bit. it yeah. was strictly frost, yeah, and, B, and BFA I think it was, or, or no, it was from Legion to BFA, or something like that. And then they returned it uh, with Shadow uh, Shadowlands to everyone. I don't have my coming. But if you stand behind this pillar, obviously uh, be careful with the area effect. The water won't hit you. Weapon coming. To be honest with you, on that boss, I was kind of uh, like a little, little sweating a little bit. I was like, "Oh, yeah, hope I don't mess this up." Because I do feel that they, I feel the nerve they've done. Hey. God, this this wave is so obnoxious. Knocking back. Can watch out for this knockback. Oops. I am now in a bubble. Is that bubble gonna kill me or does it just help? It, it, it takes you to the very back of the entrance. So um I actually was watching a tips and tricks from a really good channel. Uh, when when you're done with that, Nothing look back uh, where I am. I'm not going to move. You guys can clear that right now. See where I am, right? I think so. <laughs> oh, you're, yeah. So they pull as much as they can from this pathway all the way back around the edge and they fight it all back there so you don't have to deal with any of this bullshit water wave aspects. Almost I, the entire hallway is pulled back there. 
I just stand here. Yeah, yeah, no, but like even there, you take the damage, even if you don't take the, the knockback, right? No. Uh, okay, I was taking damage. Maybe I was failing to dodge it. But, yeah, if um, you stand you can exact pull the center. Thing and then, then do a, like a massive pull and huge AoE and then mm -hmm. just move through the hallway. Yeah, see, so if I have Ravenger or Shockwave, pulling the whole thing would do more beneficial. Yeah, I see what you're saying, though. Okay. Uh, Primal Tsunami attempts to drown its enemies in the now primalist infused waters in the depths of the halls of infusion. It forms infused globules and then displaces the enemies into danger. Unleashes several globules of water, flaking frost damage to players in two yards of each impact, and drifts about, applying water locked. After 11 seconds, it explodes, inflicting frost damage to players within 10 yards. Okay. Upon reaching 100 energy, use cast away mm -hmm. on its foes and submerges. When submerged, it tsunami's allies jump into action, infusing it with more energy. All right, so entraps each player in a bubble of water and casts them away. So primalist infusers will continue to infuse, which gives it bonus 1% damage every five seconds. Uh, the primalist until they are interrupted. So I have to go around interrupting all of them, right? So crashing tsunami will. In Knockback players and slow players during castaway. So can I pull them all in and then we kill them as a group? So you know how you, you got knocked off and you got to the very beginning of the tunnel? Yeah. So if you look at our map, we got three tunnels. Mm -hmm. Two of us will be together and typically they, two, the rest of the party will be by themselves. Mm -hmm. Um. What will happen is we have to run through that water wave again to get to the center mm -hmm. of this. I will run in... Uh, I don't have my fear, so I will uh, pummel, shockwave, storm bolt, and there'll be one left. Uh, you said you run to a little bit slower. So I mean, I have uh, invulnerability to those waves. If necessary, I can do it twice. Okay, yeah, because it's just basically a race to the center of the boss, oh, the center of this platform, and interrupt them as possible. Me having heroic leap uh, makes okay. me a little bit faster. Yeah, you'll get there first. Uh, if I get there behind you, I'll just grab them all into a group. Okay. Also got shield charge, which will stun them. So I got three in I got four interrupts technically. I used right, to. Have well, I'll my just fear. grab whichever one you don't interrupt. Okay. Uh, DPS right at the beginning. Yep. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch way. Knocking back. Watch way. Watch way. Submerging, okay. So you gotta hide behind the shit to get there, right? Yeah, or you could be like me, kind of heroically through it all. I'm out of range. Oh, it spawned on me. Bullshit. Watch me. Knocking back. 